Okay, so this is a continuation of our notes from yesterday. So to find the slope, if you're given the standard equation, you could just graph it like we did on our five days and use the graph to figure out the slope. Or we can do it with the formula. So to do that, you would find the intercepts and then you use those two points in the slope formula. So for example, if I want to find the slope of 6x minus 5y equals 30, I can use my xy table with the zeros to figure out um, the two intercepts. So if y is 0, I end up with 6x equals 30. So what's x going to be? x would be 5. And then if the y is 0, I mean the x is 0 rather, then I would have negative 5y equals 30. And so what was y would be negative 6. Okay, so there are my two points right there. I've got the point 5, 0 and the point 0, negative 6. So my slope is y minus y over x minus x. So I would have 0 minus negative 6 over 5 minus 0. And so minus a negative, it becomes a positive 6. 5 minus 0 is 5. So the slope of that line would be a positive 6 fifths. Okay. Any questions? It's still the same slope formula. We're just finding the two points that are the intercepts and then plugging it into y sub 2 minus y sub 1 equals over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. It's the same formula, okay? All right, so on your whiteboards, we have 2x plus 3y is equal to 12. So first find the intercepts and then find the slope. Okay, so when you put in the 0 for y, what did you get for x? When we put in the 0, we put got a 6, yes. And then when you put in the four. 0 for x, you got a 4 for y. Okay, so then we did 0 minus 4 over 6 minus 0, which was negative 4 6, and then that reduced to negative 2 thirds. Most of you had that right. Are you doing the whiteboard? Um, yeah, go ahead and do this one on your whiteboards. So it looks like most of you didn't have a problem with that. Everybody got two? All right, that's it for these notes.